time for a coffee, guys. Right, day two um, of my uh, dungeon display. So, I have been dry fitting. And this is where we're at. So, level three out of five. So, I have the first three levels um, in place. Now, let me explain um, or, or what I'm doing here. Everything is very loosely put together. I'm dry fitting. Um, I haven't worked out the narrative of the dungeon or a lot of the narrative areas of the dungeon yet. What I'm trying to do is to get to grips with just what's feasible with the Dungeons and Lasers terrain. And I've got to say, I am having a blast with this stuff. I'm having an absolute blast. Um, it goes together lovely. Uh, I, at this stage, I'm starting to run out a little bit. Um, this is what I've got left component-wise. So basically, the floors there, I only have a couple of the larger floor segments left. Um, here, though, I can I have plenty of wall segments. So that actually uh, suggests um, that it's really well thought out, their packaging in their core set, because obviously I'm building with verticality, so I need more floors than walls. But typically, this would be a modular dungeon that you would lay out, in which case you need more walls than floors. So um, I'm, the obstacle I'm running into is just primarily because I'm doing something completely different with it. So I'm going to try and get a, a few bits more. I have another two levels basically to do, but let me talk you through some of the, some of the concepts uh, that I've learned so far or, uh, and ideas that I've had. So this is the first kind of feature room that I've been playing with and the idea that way down into the depths of the dungeon is the treasure room. So um, I used some of the, let me just find out the name of it. Oh, I have to dig through my rubbish pile. So I used the Hall of Heroes set to build this particular room. And then I thought I would outfit it with treasure. The little um, incident, incidental pieces that I'm putting in at the moment are from Mantic's Terrain Crate. And it's a lovely way to, to dress the, the, the actual dungeon itself. I'm starting to play around with um, having doors in place of walls to leave some kind of openings to look through. Um, so you can still kind of place a mini in there and there. And then here you'll see I've started to work up taller areas for those tall minis like giants and things like that that I may want to display. Down in here, you can, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but that's a, like a wizard's um, library that I've got going on in there. And then on through here, I've even started to play with the idea of a jail of prison cells. And if you come over to this side here and peer in, you can see the beds and things like that. So lots and lots of little incidental details that uh, I'm working on. Also, working on um, uh, looking at the walls. So I'm looking at potential mirrors or portraits. I think in portraits kind of be kind of cool, especially if they're all portraits of me. <laughs> I think I'll be hilarious. A banner um, uh, aspect here with a carpet. All of this stuff will be sealed and glued into, into its final place. And then just really looking at things like stairs and anywhere where I could stick a spiral staircase just to try and give me a sense of travel, a sense of being able to move around this dungeon in uh, some ways. And, uh, you know, I may even have dead ends and things. So first three levels down, I fully expect to be ripping parts of this apart again and rebuilding it with different textures and starting to theme um, uh, particular areas. You know, for example, the jail, um, now that I'm looking at it, I quite like the, the idea of the prison cells. I may ext extend that prison block um, uh, a little bit further and look at, uh, look at options I have there. Um, other things that I'm looking at is the, uh, maybe the odd piece of wall you can see here just at the, just at the front, just to kind of close off 
little aspects um, of the dungeon. Also, my fit is not too bad. So like I said, I'm building this into the three of the besters from Ikea. There'll be a top go along that. So I'm going to build another two le levels. So there'll be level four, level five. But then what I intend to do is to have either maybe foam core or um, light wood between each level because then I have to look at these kind of details here. There's lots of gap filling to do. So I'm going to fill all the gaps from behind with um, possibly a milliput or some kind of a, an epoxy, maybe a green stuff. And then I have to work with this front aspect. There's nothing currently on the market that just clips on to cover up that. So what I'm going to do is probably once again craft something out of milliput, most likely an epoxy rather than a clay. I keep thinking, oh, I'll do it with clay, but clay will crack. So I'm going to use an epoxy of some sort to craft a kind of like a rough edge just to cover up uh, those, um, those mechanical aspects of it. Um, lighting. Originally, I had thought about putting an LED panel at the back and lighting through this way. And thank you for everybody that commented on the last video. I've had another idea. You can now get what are called uh, RBGIC LED strips, okay? And these LED strips have an integrated uh, controller which allows you to set the color of individual segments of the actual LED strips. So what I'm thinking potentially of doing is actually using that and then on the foam core or the wood have LED strips that shine down into the dungeon in segments and then I can set the individual color tones and, uh, and likes of different parts of the dungeon. So if I use wood, for example, between the, the, the gaps, I could, in theory, if I knew how to use one, use a router to cut a track into, or a couple of tracks um, into the wood to embed the LED strip up and into, and then it would, it would cast light down. That will be a much more direct light uh, kind of approach uh, to something like this. Otherwise, I really am into a whole lot of soldering and I don't know. I might need to reach out to community member Blinky and Knackchack and see if either of those guys want to come over and do a bunch of soldering and unwiring. I think Blinky's looking at this right now and going, oh, I'll bring it, I'll get a trip over. Blinky, if you want to come over and light this bad boy for me, you'd be very, very welcome. <laughs> but um, at the moment, I'm thinking about controllable um, LED segments in the strip format because that's something I could potentially do myself. Anything beyond that, you're starting to get into some serious electronics and, and soldering and integrated circuits and, and the likes. But... I am open to ideas. I'm definitely open to ideas. Okay. I'm having an absolute blast. I'm having an absolute blast. I'll be back at it again next week, guys. Remember, the dungeon kit itself is from Dungeons and Lasers. If you go and check out the Dungeons and Lasers uh, website, it's, um, it's there. There's also another Kickstarter coming in August. Uh, for version two of Dungeons and Lasers, where they've um, they've a whole bunch of like a you know additional bits. They've got gothic stuff coming. It's really really cool. So if you're into your 40k and stuff as well, this stuff is going to be absolute gold mine for you. Um, and then the other little incidental pieces are from Mantic Games Terrain Crate. Lovely little pieces for your dungeons. Um, uh, like that box there has got 68 bits in it um, so yeah, yeah there's loads of different rooms that I'm going to be playing around with like a library here um, torture chamber gotta have a torture chamber 
Um, over here, I have the guard barracks. That'll be kind of cool. Definitely fit one of them in near the prison. And then I have just a bunch of uh, dungeon debris. So um, lots of barrels and crates and things like that to, to put everywhere. So it's, it's like a giant doll's house, isn't it? Justin, it's like the coolest doll's house you've ever seen. I have one thing to say. What? Escape the dark castle. Yes, in real life. <laughs> you could, do you know what? I know it's a display, but I reckon you could play this as well. I reckon you could play it. Okay, guys, get your comments and ideas below. Remember to subscribe to keep getting updates on this project as it goes out. Trying to get an update out to you a couple of times a week over the next while as I beaver away and build at this. And yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.